you're watching this video, you're wondering, how do I make a shear pen? I just busted it on my snow blower, and I need one. And I don't feel like driving down, you know, God only knows how long it's going to take you to go get there, and then you're going to get two or three of them, and it's going to be $5.99, and then you're going to probably hit the subway on the way back, and before you know it, it's going to cost you 25 bucks to get a shear pen, and half the day is gone. What you do, get a quarter 20 bolt, whatever length you need, I use just junk ones, cheap Japanese junks that have no grade on them. They snap all the time, really nice. And put a nut, an old nut, right on the end of it. And you're going to round this nut with a bench grinder. I like to do two at once, because I know I'm going to bust it again. And it's going to go flying off in the snow somewhere. And this way it's already done. Wind her up. Watch your fingers. Ooh, baby. The more you hold it at an angle, the more it grinds it round. You go like this, it just spins like a wheel. This way, it grinds the heck out of it. If you're smart, you'll get yourself a pair of vice grips. And voila, you got your little retaining ring things. I just love retaining ring things until I drop them. Well, now we've made a piece. We got the base here, the quarter 20. I like the Teflon lock nuts on there and a little washer. And we're getting ready to put it on. This one's a little bit long. You could use a shorter one. I think uh, an inch and a quarter, inch and a half tops is fine. Probably inch and a half is the best. This one might be, this is a little longer. That's about uh, inch and three quarter to two inches. But anyhow, <clears throat> next step is find the hole. On these Noma ones, you have a large hole and a small hole. And small holes where the quarter 20 end goes through. The large hole is where this sits right down into. Why they made it that way? Eh, it was their choice. But, as always, everyone's got to find where the sheared thing is. Now, of course, you can fight and try to hammer the thing out, or you can stick your hand into the auger like a maniac and turn the stinking thing. Put your hand right in the tines. Here it comes. He's so tine. Do lang, do lang, do lang. Now, you want to tap that out. Could use a uh, little drift pin or something like that. I like using a nail and a hammerhead. Of course, oh boy, it's actually getting locked up. Don't have it come out the other. So it get jammed. Ah, if it gets jammed, oh, hey. it's all good. You're done then. Right? Ah. Looks like someone used a quarter twenty nut. Can you believe that? Who would do such a thing? Me. Take your piece. Slide it in. Notice it goes click right down in and around this thing right here. And then washer on the back, with this, and slide it on, and you're good to go. That's all to it.